everyone, bienvenidos to my channel. My name is Alexius. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. So today I thought I would make a reference guide for all of the Ordinary's products. So every time I go to buy something on the Ordinary, I love the Ordinary, but I feel like I have to do research. I'm on this website, that website, because I'm trying to figure out actually what the hell is this and why do I need it for my face. So I thought that I would do like a quick point reference guide for all their products. I'm going to separate this into two separate videos. So for this video I'm going to be talking about the direct acids, antioxidants, hydrators, and peptides. got my laptop here. I also have my notebook because there was no way that I was going to remember all of that stuff in my head. So if you see me looking down at my notebook that is why. So jumping straight into it, the first category are the antioxidants and that includes the EUK-134, the pycnogenol, I think that's how you pronounce it, I'm not sure, pycnogenol 5% and then the resveratrol plus ferulic acid. And starting off with the EUK-134, that is an antioxidant that prevents oxygen and water loss from the skin, it protects against UV damage, and also free radical damage in the skin, so it can help with redness, hyperpigmentation, and just overall health of the skin. It uses two different molecules, substances, whatever you wanna call them. The first one is superoxide bismutase, and the second is catalase. Catalase, it speeds up the process of breaking down hydrogen peroxide. In small substances, you know, we use it to clean out wounds and stuff like that, but it actually isn't good for the skin. It can cause tissue damage and things like that. The superoxide dismutase helps break down harmful oxygen molecules in the skin, which oxygen, obviously we need oxygen. It's amazing, it's great, but actually oxygen at higher quantities than what we need can turn into free radicals. So you don't want to have an oversaturation of oxygen, whether that's even in your lungs, like if you're getting oxygen treatment at the hospital, you don't want to be oversaturated with O2 because it can turn into free radicals, which are harmful for our bodies, for our skin. So a lot of these antioxidant products help fight against free radical damage. So you will hear me say that a lot with these products. Second product in the antioxidant category is the pycnogenol 5%. This is an antioxidant that is a plant extract from a French pine tree. And this one also fights free radical damage. It's anti-aging, plump skin, restores elasticity. And this product can also restore your activity of vitamin C that is not being utilized by the skin anymore. This product kind of reactivates that vitamin C so that your skin can utilize it more so that it's not just wasting around. The next product is the resveratrol plus ferulic acid. This product is a natural phenol that protects skin from oxidative damage. It brightens skin, reduces signs of aging, and then the ferulic acid in this is anti-aging as well. It also fights free radical damage, but it's an additive in this product because it does boost the benefits when added with other antioxidants, specifically with resveratrol. So that was the last product under the antioxidants tab offered by The Ordinary. These products are more made to supplement your skincare, um, not so much like you wouldn't use these as moisturizers um, or really as serums, at least I personally wouldn't, but I would add it into an already existing serum product um, just to supplement your skin and give you more protection against free radical damage, um, anti-aging, hydration, things like that. So, you know, already set skincare routine, just adding these in. So the next topic are gonna be the direct acids and The Ordinary has a ton of acids that they offer. Um, a lot of them are kind of the same type of acid, but it just gives you the option to choose, you know, which ones you want to use. So I'll kind of be quickly going over each product, but for the most part, they kind of do the same thing. It's just up to you just to kind of pick one to try it out and see if it works for you. And then if not, you know, you can try a different type of acid. So I'm going to read off my list because they have a lot. Offer the AHA 30% plus BHA peeling solution, the azelaic acid suspension 10%, glycolic acid 7% toning solution, the lactic acid 10% plus HA and the lactic acid 5% plus HA, which is hyaluronic acid. The mandelic acid 10% plus HA 
in the salicylic acid 2% mask and the salicylic acid 2% solution. Just to go over the different acids like HA versus BHA, HA stands for alpha hydroxy acids and these, they exfoliate the outermost top layer of the skin. Um, so they provide exfoliation, they also brighten skin, even skin tone. And HAs includes glycolic acid, lactic acid, tartaric, and citric acid. BHA, they provide mild exfoliation as well, but they really deep cleanse and clean out those pores and the walls of those pores. BHA, that is beta hydroxy acids, and that one is salicylic acid, which you see a lot in acne treatment solutions and masks and anything like that because of that pore cleansing action that they have. So the first product, the AHA 30% plus the BHA 2%, that is a peeling solution. It is a very high concentration of acids and it helps fight acne blemishes or breakouts that you're having while also brightening the skin, providing exfoliation. So make sure if you're getting this product, please read the directions so that you're protecting your skin. The next product is the Azelaic Acid Suspension. And this product is made up of yeast that naturally occurs on just normal, healthy skin. Um, and this product brightens skin tone, even skin tone, while providing some form of mild exfoliation as well. So the next product is the Glycolic Toning Solution, and this is a toning product that's supposed to balance the pH of the skin. Um, glycolic acid is an AHA, and that will provide some mild exfoliation, brighten the skin tone, improve uneven skin texture. A lot of their products, this one included, the acids anyway, are formulated with Tasmanian pepperberry, which is added into the acidic products to help reduce inflammation because it has some soothing properties and then this specific toner is formulated with ginseng root and aloe vera to help with some of that irritation as well. So next there is the lactic acid 10% and the lactic acid 5%. This is another AHA product that is used um, as a peeling solution. So again, mild exfoliation, brightened skin tone, helping to reverse uneven skin tone, also formulated with that pepperberry to help with irritation. Sorry, I had to change my angle a little bit because it's about to storm and it just got super dark. So the next product in their acids category is the mandelic acid 10%. And this is another AHA, but this is a larger molecule than the other AHAs, so it absorbs more slowly into the skin since it is larger. This one works on that most outer layer of the skin from my understanding um, this one probably is a bit safer than the other ones as well just because it is larger and it does work at a slower pace than the other acids so the last products are the salicylic acid 2% mask and also salicylic acid 2% solution so the mask is obviously used you know as a mask so rinse off formula and salicylic acid is a BHA that is using a lot of acne treatments like I mentioned earlier. The mask product is used to target texturized skin, dull skin tone, also providing some exfoliation and fighting against breakouts. The solution is used to deep clean those pores while providing some mild exfoliation. It also helps with skin clarity, skin brightness. So those were all the acids that The Ordinary has. With acids, you just wanna be very careful with making sure that you're protecting your skin from the sun. So please use sunscreen, use sunscreen anyway, but especially when you are using acidic products because they are compromising your skin with the exfoliation and everything. They're making your skin really sensitive. So just make sure that you're not further damaging your skin by not protecting it against the sun. So just make sure you do that. And then also, if you're new to acids, always start with something at a lower concentration if it's offered. So. The lactic acid for instance you know they have the five percent the ten percent um definitely start with the lower concentration if you're not used to using acids because it can be really irritating to the skin also make sure you read the directions on the ordinary's website for the specific product that you're purchasing because some of their acids they have a little bit more specific instructions than for others so just make sure that you're really following the directions so you don't damage your skin So the next category are the peptides and this one is kind of like the antioxidants in the sense that you really use these to kind of supplement your skincare. 
Um, they do have some all-encompassing products under this section that you could use as serums, um, but I would use the peptides formula um, more supplementation, kind of like the antioxidants. So they have the Buffet Serum, the Buffet Plus Copper Peptides, the Argireline Solution, not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly, and the Matrixyl 10% plus Hyaluronic Acid. So the first product is the Buffet, which is an anti-aging serum. It's formulated with Senaki, Argirelox, and Matrixyl 3000. So Senaki, that's an anti-aging ingredient that's modeled after Viper Venom. And Viper is a venomous snake, and when it bites you, the venom can paralyze your muscles and damage nerves and all of that good stuff. So that sounds so fun, but they use it now in skincare products because it helps relax your muscles. Kind of like how we get Botox to relax our muscles so we're not like constantly moving our faces, causing wrinkles. The next thing in the buffet is the Matrixyl 3000, and that is two peptides, Palmatoil Tetrapeptide 7 and Palmatoil Oligopeptide. And these two products stimulate collagen production, which plumps our skin, helps prevent wrinkles and fine lines as well. The Argirelox helps prevent muscle contraction and pre-synthetic pathways, aka it just helps relax your muscles as well, just like that Sanaki, so that we're not making wrinkles on our face, um, causing fine lines, all those good things. We also have the Buffet Plus Copper 1%. This just adds another component of skin restoration. Um, copper can improve elasticity, help prevent sun damage or reverse sun damage, also firm skin, and reduces wrinkles. The next product is the Argireline 1%. I feel like I'm butchering that word. But this product is a shortened sequence of the Botox that we get to relax our face. This one is not Botox, but it's just a skincare ingredient that can help relax our muscles to prevent fine lines and wrinkles. So the last product is the Matrixyl 10% and this product it stimulates collagen production so that reduces wrinkles, prevent fine lines, all that good stuff. According to The Ordinary, you want to make sure that you alternate these products with vitamin C. So if you use vitamin C in the morning, use these products at night or vice versa. So just make sure that you're doing that if you're using any of their peptide products. So the last section that I'm gonna talk about are the hydrators and oils, and they actually have a very delicious selection of oils, which makes my heart happy because I love oils. I do, I really do. So they have the bee oil, which is a solubilized formula of microalgae in a blend of squalane. And that includes marula oil, argan, boaba, I'm sure I'm saying that wrong, patua, Brazil nut, Inca Enchi, rose hip, and barrage oil, all in this one product. And this just supports healthy skin barrier, healthy skin defense, it enhances radiance, and reduces free radical damage. Then they also have a ton of single ingredient oils and they have the rose hip marula barrage argan chia seed buckthorn oil and i won't go over each specific oil because at the base of what oils are you would kind of use them all the same way i think everyone should use an oil no matter what your skin type is but for these single ingredient oils you just really use them the very last step of your skincare routine to seal in all the moisture. Um, I know a lot of places, even on The Ordinary's website, they say that oils provide hydration. I do not think oils hydrate, and this goes for the skin and the hair. So, with that being said, they have all of those oils. And how they contribute to the skin is they provide skin softness, hydration, free radical damage, anti-aging, and they protect and repair the skin barriers. Those are all the oils that they have. The next hydrating product they have is the 100% plant-derived hemosqualane. Um, this is a non-polar hydrocarbon. Non-polar just means that it doesn't like water. That's produced from the fermentation of sugar-based feedstock. It is super emollient. They have another squalane product. This one is just one that's more spreadable on the skin, so it's just more I guess satisfying to use if you don't like the texture of the other squalane products that they have. So this one is just 
more emollient for if you like that type of thing, you know, when you're putting products on your face. The next product is the Amino Acids Plus B5 and Aminos. They enhance barrier support, elasticity, um, osmotic balance, which is just a fancy way of saying that the water and electrolytes are equally stabilized within your cells and across your cell membranes, kind of throwback to biology and anatomy and physiology. It's just making sure that you have an equal balance of water and electrolytes in your skin cells. The B5 in this product, it aids in skin repair and also helps to build a barrier against outside irritants with your skin. So just kind of helping that skin barrier to remain strong and intact so it is not um, irritated by outside factors. The next product is the Hyaluronic Acid Plus B5. And Hyaluronic Acid is like everyone's thing right now. I love Hyaluronic Acid myself. It's not really a hydrator. It just helps your skin to retain moisture. So it's a molecule that is able to hold up to a thousand times its weight in water. And I really like the Ordinary's product because it has low, mid, and high molecular weight hyaluronics in this product. It can actually penetrate deep into the skin so that when it does hold on to moisture, it's actually inside of your skin. Some products with hyaluronic acid in it, the molecules are too large so they sit on top of your skin and they actually can pull moisture from your skin. So you do not want that. I like that they hit all layers of the skin so that it's not actually fighting against you. The next product is the Moraine Hyaluronics and this one, hyaluronic acid as well, that's just derived from marine reservoirs. And this product kind of has the same purpose. The only difference is that it's just lighter in formula and lighter in texture. If you try the hyaluronic acid and it's a little too thick for you, then you can try this one. It's a lot more spreadable, a lot more emollient for the skin thinner. So you may enjoy that one a little bit more. The next product and the last one in this section is the natural moisturizing factors plus hyaluronic acid. And this is their actual moisturizer that they have. So just a full all encompassing moisturizer cream based product. It's made up of amino acids, fatty acids, triglycerides, urea, ceramides, phospholipids, glycerin, saccharides, sodium PCA, hyaluronic acid, and a lot more things that are found just naturally in the skin. I wrote down three of those little ingredients that they have in there just to kind of explain them more because sometimes when you're reading those ingredients you're like oh that's great but you actually don't know what those products do for you first one is urea and this one is actually a nitrogenous waste product produced from the liver it's actually found in urine yes pee but this product is actually used which i didn't even know this myself it's actually using a lot of products that treat eczema psoriasis and just overall really rough skin so I like urea she seems she seems all right with me the next one is sodium PCA and that's a salt compound that is naturally occurring in the skin and it's a conditioning agent so this one is used in a lot of skincare as well it's a humectant helps draws moisture from the air into the skin so we like her as well the last one is ceramides and this one actually is used in CeraVe a lot so CeraVe is a great brand obviously they got it they got they got to figure it out ceramides are fatty acids that are found in the outer layer of the skin and it just helps build the skin barrier to help protect against the outside world because we don't want all of this to be getting in here you know what i'm saying so they all cool with me they all cool with me that was all for this there will be a part two Parte numero dos with all the other products that they have. And just a little disclaimer, which I probably should have said this at the beginning, but I am not a dermatologist. I'm not an esthetician. I'm not a doctor. I don't work in skincare at all, really. So yeah, I know you're probably like, okay, well, who you is telling me? I am a nurse and part of being a nurse is taking things that are hard to understand and just kind of rolling them up in a cute little biscuit to give to your patients and I am really familiar with skincare so I was able to take descriptions that the ordinary provided and then also reputable websites and just kind of take all of that and just kind of roll it up in a little ball and hopefully 
help you guys out there if you're really confused because I know I was when the ordinary first came out I didn't try them for a long time just because I was like that's too much like I am not qualified to build a at-home skincare routine like if you be in the bathroom like you in like a meth lab or something I'm like no I can't do that I like to just buy things that the professionals make for me and then slapped on my face. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more content from me. And please, 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 if you have any video ideas for me, please leave them below because I would love to upload every week. I have the time, the means, and the desire to do so. I just don't be knowing what the hell to film. But other than that, thank you so much for watching. See you guys in the next video. Bye. Day one, day one. I'm gonna spend the rest of my life with the same one, same one. Ain't no I and T.